little boot review tonight. If you follow my channel, if you follow my Instagram, you'll know that one of the ways I like to spend my free time is walking on Dartmoor. Um, we're really, really lucky to have Dartmoor on our doorstep in Devon. Got a coast paths. I like to spend my time outdoors. The boots I choose to walk in typically have been sort of Red Wings, massive fan of the brand, but they're not the best, um, certainly in wet conditions. So I've decided to invest in some good quality walking boots. And these are from a French brand, um, Agile. Um, I've probably butchered how you say that, but uh, Agile. Um, and they're long established, 100 years history or so, and they're mainly known for their high-end uh, natural rubber Wellington boots. Um, these are, of course, something a bit different. These are a more technical hiker. Um, these are a uh, waxed uh, water repellent cowhide with a Gore-Tex waterproof breathable membrane inside. Really, really nice um, Vibram sole. Massive fan of Vibram soles. I think they wear really well. This is a particularly nice gummy one. So, you know, it's not going to give you uh, quite the longevity on concrete uh, as some of their other soles, but this will be absolutely fantastic on the trails and um, paths around Devon outdoors. Really, really lovely construction. Um, really looking forward to getting into these. Um, I've picked these up from Herring Shoes, uh, who are Devon based, a company I work with often. Uh, if you're interested in these, uh, do check out Herring Shoes, certainly if you're in the UK or Europe, a uh, really good uh, place to shop. And there's a discount code for you to use down below to save 10%. Um, looking on YouTube and elsewhere, the boots here, which are the uh, Montenegro, um, have no reviews on them. So I thought I should fill that gap. So what we'll do is we'll come in for some close-ups and then we'll get them on and uh, probably get them wet and muddy. Just coming in for some close-ups on the Eagle Montenaga. Um, these are the GTX. I'm not sure whether that makes any difference, but um, we'll start from the bottom up. As I said earlier, Vibram Sole. Always a massive fan of Vibram Soles. Wear really well. Um, obviously they have different compounds. This one is, is pretty gummy which is quite nice. Um, this isn't designed for doing hundreds of miles on highway or concrete. Um, this is going to wear really nicely on um, trail and track and off-road. Lots of grip in there. Nice sort of mix of their traditional lug pattern and something a bit more modern in there. Slight heel, uh, which is good for a little bit of climbing, I guess. Um, then you've got a midsole, so this is a, a different compound here, and this is described as a, a welded construction, so I'm not sure whether the the uh, the wearing course there is welded onto there, and whether this is, uh, I think this is glued onto this uh, rubber skirt here. But I've seen this referred to as welded on some web pages. Uh, obviously, as I say, we've got this rubber skirt, so that provides a, a physical barrier uh, for water ingress, so obviously you're fully waterproofed up to that point before it even hits the leather and then it protects any seams or construction as the uh, the leather upper meets the midsole and of course we've got this um, waxed leather upper and then Gore-Tex beyond that so there's no real fears for water ingress. So it's all one piece, the skirt, there's no joins, little kicker on the toe there and also there's the stone guard just uh, stitched onto the stone onto the toe there and on the heel just to protect uh, the boot from any debris you're likely to encounter as you walk also wonder whether that's uh, in there to help you uh, protect your boots as you kick them off at the end of an exhausting walk um, the upper is all one piece in the vamp section here so there's no seams that you have to work with or break in obviously you've got the uh, 
the mix of eyelets and speed hooks so these make getting your boots on and off a little bit easier nice uh, suede collar here a little cut out at the back for your your movement and uh, we'll just look at the other boot just inside so we can see the uh, Gore-Tex liner so you've got the Gore-Tex liner it's right there nice quilted uh, pattern on there you've got a a bellows tongue which takes your protection against water pretty much up to your just beyond your ankle bone so quite a good level of protection in there all very very soft and uh, comfy feeling and then inside you've got a fairly basic uh, dense insole so an ortholite insole made out of re recycled material and uh, obviously sizing info on the tongue there UK 8 US 8.5 which is slightly different to normal normally it's a whole size difference um, so UK 8 that, that fits true to size for me and these are these are feeling pretty good from that perspective so we didn't end up going to Dartmoor to give these boots a first try out. Um, we actually headed down to the coast to do a short section of the southwest coast path. Uh, the section was between Sidmouth and Ladrum Bay, about five miles um, there and back. Um, I'd worn them around the house the day before just to give a bit of a feel for how they'd break in. Really comfy, no pinches, so felt like they were ready to go. Um, they're initially quite stiff underfoot, um, but after a mile or so, the midsole started to flex and it was pretty comfortable. Um, there's good heel support, or good ankle support rather, um, for going up and down the gravel paths on the coast. And generally really comfy underfoot. Felt like a lot of the comfort came from the, uh, the gummy Vibram sole, uh, which absolutely great off-road. Well, that pretty much brings us to the end of the review. Um, I'll do a long-term update on these in, in six months or so time just to give you a bit of a feel how they how they fare in uh, longer term wear. I think they look really good. Really pleased to have um, some good walking boots uh, fit for purpose with the sort of right blend of waterproofness and hopefully comfort. Um, if you haven't seen my channel before, uh, please check it out. Lots of boot reviews, um, typically sort of heritage boots, workwear, denim, that sort of stuff. Um, bit of everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives, do check it out. You might find that we share some other common interests. If you found this review useful, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you've had these boots or have an opinion on Aegle um, and their brand, uh, let me know your experiences below. Um, and yeah, I'll see you for the next video. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.